Yo guys, this is the artist Tolgard and welcome to a new drawing tutorial. Today I will show you how to draw Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose from Dragon Ball Super. Let's start after the intro. So guys, as you can see, I already prepared the materials we need for this sketch. We got a copic paper sheet, A4 size, a pencil, an eraser and a ruler. You can find the materials I am using in the info box below. Now we will do some guidelines before starting with the sketch. We will have the A4 size paper in portrait mode at 10.5 cm. Then we will do a 3 cm guideline which we will need for the face. And that's all we need guys, let's jump right into the drawing. So, as you guys know, I always start with the eyes of my characters. Start drawing the wrinkles between the eyebrows and place them at the center of the guideline. From the wrinkles, we will draw the eyebrows. We will use the length of the guideline to draw the eyebrows. Then we can draw the eyes and place them on the guideline. Now we will draw the iris to the eyes. Perfect. Below the wrinkles between the eyebrows, we will draw the nose and right below the nose, we will place the mouth. We will give Goku Black a nasty smirk. Add some wrinkles around the mouth and under the eyes. Perfect. Now we can draw the face shape. I like to do a light sketch before I draw the specific part more detailed. As you can see it helps. We will now draw the shape of the ears, neck and hairline lightly. We do this lightly because the hair will cover the most part of the ears. Then we can draw the hair strands in front of Goku Black's face. The hair strands are very spiky at the end and very thick at the top. <laughs> When you're happy with the shape, you can add the details to the ears and the ear ring to the right ear lobe. And to finish up the hair strands, we will add some hairlines to them. Perfect guys, let's move on to the main hair. We will now draw the shape of the hair as we did before. Remember, the hair strands are very spiky at the end and way thicker at the top. Just do the shape very lightly as I do here. Great, and when you're happy with the shape, you can draw the individual hair strands more detailed. Okay. 
and to make the hair complete, we will give them hair strands, some hair lines. I like to draw them along with the hair flow. Just like that, looks great. Now we can continue with the torso. We will also draw the shape of the torso very lightly here as well. As you can see, drawing like this makes it very easy. You will do less mistakes. And when we did that, we can start drawing more detailed. Starting with the belt, we will give the belt some random lines. Just make sure that the lines are not too stiff. Perfect. Now we can draw this suit of Goku Black. I have to say I really like the design of him. Goku Black has a turtleneck which fits very tight. And as Goku Black isn't that muscular, we will draw him that way. Now drawing the suit more detailed and adding the wrinkles to it. Very good. Now we can draw the arms more detailed. We will draw the shape of the muscles, but not that detailed because he is wearing a long sleeve which covers the muscles. Perfect. Now we can continue with the lower part. Again, drawing the shape of the legs and the lower arms first. Great. Now to the details. Goku Black Sand is shaped into a fist, which will be seen from the side. And we will draw his ring on his index finger. Perfect. Same thing on the other side guys.
great. Then we can draw the lower part of his suit. We will draw it a little loose. Add some wrinkles here as well, along with the flow. Very good. The pants of Goku Black are very loose and wide, therefore we will add big wrinkles to them. Almost done guys. Now we can take a second look at everything. Now is the time to improve. Therefore we will take the ruler and we are checking the proportions. As you can see the hands are not equal. We will fix that real quick to make the sketch complete. Very good guys, now take a little break and then come back so we can ink Goku black. So guys, ready for the inking? Let's go. I like to use a pen from Copic with the 0.05mm and 0.1mm strength. And as I told you in my other tutorials, the inking is the most simple part. The only thing you have to do is to redraw the whole sketch, you just have to be very patient and do every line step by step. Just take your time, relax and enjoy the inking process. Alright, last few lines and then we are done with the first layer. Now we can erase all the pencil lines. When you do the erasing, make sure to do this controlled. If you do it too rushed or too hard, you can crumble the paper and your work will be for nothing. So, the drawing is clean and now we can do the second layer of ink. Therefore we will use the 0.05mm strength pen and we will go over almost every line. That way the line work is getting thicker and it will give your drawing a very unique look and the line work will stand out. I do all my drawings that way, I just love it. Just pay attention that you don't do these thicker lines too thick.
Alright, last few lines and then we can take a look at the final line work. Very clean and as I said the line work is standing out. It gives the drawing a comic like effect which is amazing. Now we can color Goku black, let's go guys. We will use only Copic Show markers for the coloring today. If you want to see tutorials with other markers, let me know in the comments. Starting with the skin, using E50 as a brightest color tone and cover the left part. Leave some white part at the left side of the face for the contrast. Now use E31 as the next darker color tone and cover the right side of the face. Why? Because when the light is shining from the left, the right side of Goku will have the shades. Then we will use E43 as the next darker color tone and we will add some darker shades to the skin. Use the wrinkles and the face features to place the shades. Perfect. And the darkest color tone for the skin is W5. Use it very lightly on the right side. Very good guys. Now we are using the same colors to give the skin a second layer. I love coloring that way because it gives the coloring a printed like effect at the end. For the iris we will need two color tones which are BV31 and BV23. And to give the eyes and teeth little shades we will use C3. For the top of the earring we will use the color tones Y21, Y28 and W5. And for the lower part we are using YG11, G05 and G28. And after the coloring we will add some small white dots to the earring and to the iris with a white gale pan. Looks great guys. Now we can color the pink hair. Starting with the eyebrows using RV13 and R85. And for the main hair we will start with a bright pink tone which is RV10. We will cover the entire hair with that tone but leaving white parts on the left side of each hair strand. Very good. Then we are using RV13 for the shading. We will use the hairlines as orientation to place the shades. And remember, the right side of the hair will have way more shades. Very good guys. And for the darker shading of the hair we will use R85. More lightly on the left side and way more on the right side of the hair. We are still using the hairline to place the shading. Looking great. Now giving the hair a second layer with the colors we used before. Alright guys, the hair is colored and it looks amazing. Using C5 and coloring the left part of the upper chest and the definition of the neck and traps. Then use C7 and cover the rest of that area. Good. Now we will use a pen to mark the areas which we will cover black. Again, way more shades on the right side. Now we can color the parts with BV29.
that were good. Now we will do the same thing for the chest, marking the black areas and then coloring them with BV29. Perfect! And then we can give the turtleneck the second layer. It's that simple guys. We will do the same thing for the arms, coloring the outer part of the long sleeve with C5 and then covering the rest with C7. Now we will mark the areas with the pen, which we will color black afterwards. Very good. And then we will do the second layer with C7 and C5. Perfect. Same process on the other side. Except that this arm will have way less brighter parts and way more darker shades. Therefore we will use C5 very lightly and BV29 way more. Just like that guys. Now doing the second layer of the coloring and then we are done with that part. Now to the suit. Use BV31 and cover the left side. Then use BV23 for the shading. Place the shades along with the wrinkles of the suit. Perfect. Now we will give the shading some more definition with BV29. Use this marker very lightly just to add some definition to the wrinkles. And to finish up that part, we will give the suit a second layer of coloring with BV31 and BV23. Very vibrant. Same thing on the other side guys. But as you know by now, more shading on this side. Using BV31, very little and then covering the rest of that area with BV23. We will use the wrinkles of the suit to place the shades here as well. And to give the coloring more definition, we will use BV29, using the wrinkles again and giving the side a little more black shading. I like it. Now doing the second layer of the coloring to finish up the upper part of this suit. That's it. Very good. Let's continue with the belt. Using R32 for the bright part of the belt and then covering the rest with R27. For the shading we will use R59. As you can see I place the shading along with the wrinkles and the lines of the belt. And to give the shading more definition we are using RV29 again. Perfect guys. And to finish up the belt we will give it a second layer of colors with the tones we used before. Now to the lower part. Starting with the suit. Using BV31 again and covering the rest of the suit. Then using BV23 for the shading. Still using the wrinkles to place the shades and adding more shades to the right side. Perfect. 
Now we will give the suit dark shading with BV29 along with the wrinkles. I like it. Now do the second layer of the coloring to finish up this suit. Great, let's move on to the fists. Using E50 as the brightest skin tone and E31 for the shading. To give the shading more definition, we will use E43. For the darker parts, we will use W5. Just like that, guys. For the ring, we are using the color tones C3, C5, and C7. Same process for the other fist, except that this side will have darker shading. But you know that by now. Alright guys, now to the last part, the pants. Using C5 on the left part of the left leg and then covering the rest of that area with C7. Great, and as we did before, on the upper part, we will use the pen to mark the black areas. Perfect. Now we will cover these parts with BV29. I use many layers to cover the entire area evenly. Looks very good. Now do the second layer with C7 and C5 to finish up this leg. Perfect. Same process on the other side guys. You know how it goes. So let's finish Coco Black Super Saiyan Rose. Let's go. So guys, last touch and then we can take a look at the final result. There we have it, Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose standing confident with a nasty smirk. Not battle damage this time. I think it turned out very good guys. The proportions are on point, the coloring is amazing, colors are vibrant and the line work is clean. I am really very happy with the final result. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Make sure to try it yourself. If you enjoyed this drawing tutorial, make sure to give this video a like. It would be great to reach 1000 likes with this video today. That would help my channel a lot. If you are new on my channel, subscribe right now and hit the bell icon to not miss any of my future uploads. Let me know in the comments which character you want to see next and comment below your opinion on this drawing. I will upload this drawing as a real-time drawing video on my second channel which is dedicated to only real-time drawing videos. So make sure to subscribe there as well. This original drawing is now available on my Etsy shop guys. So if you want to own this single original piece, check out my shop and get it. For commission, email me at artalk at gmail.com or message me on Instagram. You can find all the links down below in the info box. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I see you on the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay fit, be a good person, be you and always remember, you are the designer of your own life.